What's up guys, it's uh, this is Eddie on, and uh, today we're going to be playing Fishing Planet because I'm a bit in the hole and I need to make some money and uh, at least get positive. I don't, I don't care if I break positive, but you know, it'd be nice if I do. So we're going to go bass fishing, which is pretty much best way for money at lower levels and actually kind of high level, but I don't have the money to travel other places. So we're going to do this at the Mudwater River and uh, it's kind of going to be a guide to bass fishing actually. Uh, what we're going to use is the elemental 6 foot 7 inch rod, which this isn't required. You just really need a rod. doesn't matter how good of a rod, just one that can put a lure on it pretty much. It's kind of a low level rod, but it'll do. We're going to be using the Callisto XSR 1400, which is a pretty nice reel. It's actually one of the more higher level reels and works out pretty nice, so I'm going to be using that. You don't have to have these two poles and rods, but... Er, rod and reel. I'm, I'm kind of slow today. But, uh, yeah, whatever works. And you need six pound braid or higher is what I suggest. Four pound braid you can do it with, but it just, it's, it takes a lot longer. You can't make as much money that way. And, uh, the lure you need is the casting spoon one sixth ounce two hook, which is, uh, what we're going to be using. And it's pretty much the best hook for what we're doing. So, or one of the best things for consistently catching fish for what we're doing so that's what we're going to be using and it's really low level we're going to go run private room that's songs of summer so let's see how this does we're going to go three speed for this and uh, we're going to actually be using a stop and go method and you don't have to have the highest drag but keep your drag set to where they won't just you know murder you and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go stop and go just tap your mouse button, let go of it, and pretty much the easiest way to catch them. Give it a second between the you reeling and, you know, letting it, stopping, so it'll have some time to bite, which that's the whole reason, stop and go. And this thing will pop up while you're doing it, and that means you're doing it right. Sometimes it goes away, but eh. Didn't hold that one for long enough, but it's okay. And if you don't catch a bass your first cast, it's okay. That usually means, you know, there was actually a really strong bite right there. I'm surprised we didn't get one. Oh, what am I doing? Let me put up my drag up. Alright. Well, we should have actually got that fish if I'd have a bit higher drag, I guess, but... Nah, that's, that's a little bit weird. It happens. It's just this game nowadays. Oh, gotta fix my speed, too. Alright. Once it gets to about 20 feet, you kind of just want to reel it in fast because you ain't going to catch a bass within 20 feet usually. I mean, you can, but usually don't. Alright, I'm just going to reel it in. And go back to 3 speed and uh, try again. This is the, pretty much the best way to catch a bass here. This little lane is like bass lane pretty much, so that's where you catch them. We're going to use the same stop and go method as well because it works the best. At least with this, um, this specific lure. It's, uh, designed for going slow. As you can see, we got the three bars, which means we're doing it really well. Which usually means we'll catch a fish. I hope. At least. I don't, I don't know. Make sure your time of day is set kind of right, too. It doesn't have to be exactly dead on the peak, but it just needs to be not like in the really bad ravines so make sure it's decent time of day before you start fishing as well you can change that with tea okay so I haven't even had a bite on this time or on this cast should have got one by now but eh. it happens Okay, this isn't a god for trophies as well, this is just a god for catching plain bass, because trophies you're going to need a lot bigger of a lure usually, which, um, because this is mainly for, like, a mixture of young bass to large, you know, it doesn't, they're not all, all large, but, 
it works okay for both. Some it's really just certain times. I mean, sometimes you'll catch a bunch of small ones and maybe one large one. Sometimes you'll catch all large ones. It's I don't know. If you want to catch more large ones but not as many, I would or not as many like not as many fish in general, I would switch to a bigger casting spoon. Plus, if it's a really sunny day, use the golden one. It works better on sunny days. At least, that's for me. I don't know if it's the same for you guys. Oh, we're snagged. Okay. We're gonna actually turn up my drag, because I figured out where my drag should be set from that. Okay. We're almost out of daylight today. Might have to fast forward today. I don't even know if I can do that because I have no money. I don't know. We'll catch a fish here in just a second. Here, let me just reel it in. I've caught a bunch using this just a little bit ago, actually. I still um have some in my fish keeper. They're all pretty much using the casting spoon. Uh, that was earlier in the day. Should fix. Okay. You don't need to take too long between your um, stop and go, but just give it a little bit of time. Certain fish you need to take longer, like a drum, you may need to take a good five seconds in between bumps. Okay, seems like we're doing it right. And we're snagged. I don't know why we keep getting snagged there. It's really weird. Pretty sure this lure actually works for a pike, but don't don't count on that. I don't. I'm not sure about pike, but sometimes the, I think they bite on these lures. I don't know. I haven't fished for pike in forever. I know they bite on spoons, so they most likely bite on this. All right, let's reel it in. Are you gonna catch one? I think I'm not catching many yet right now because, well, it's really late in the day and it's pretty much past the time zone that I need to be in. And, uh, yeah, it's not a good thing. But I can't fast forward days because I don't have any money. Alright, I don't want straight slow, I want stop and go. Ah, there's a fish. There we go. They're pretty much, they're usually little bass because it's a little lure, but. Just want to reel it straight in, pretty much. Because these ain't going to be big enough to where you really have to give them a fight, but you may have to fight a couple, but they won't be monsters. They'll just be normal fish. Like that, pretty much. It's actually a really small one. Oh, there we go. I got it. Look at that fish. Alright, well, I guess that's going to be it for this video. And, uh,. I'll see you guys in the next. Hope you, you can catch some bass. Out.